I will present you, so I'm uh, Florian Mori, CEO of Media Photonic. Um, I will present you today about microwave photonics with our space compatible laser sources. So, so Media Photonic is a manufacturer of femtosecond sources or femtosecond lasers. You may know a lot about femtosecond laser used for micro machining, cutting, or medicals, but we are focusing on a different type of applications. We are more related to applications relating to research, telecom, space-related application, and electronics. And the goal as a company is really to provide lasers that are extremely robust, reliable, that can be turnkey and easy to use in order to really allow people to move application from the lab to uh, outside application and real-world applications. Our goal is really to close the gap between photonic and electronic by providing laser sources which have the right technical parameters but also the right product performance to reach out uh, the real-life applications. The company by itself was now created a bit more than three years ago as a spin-off of ETH Zurich here in Switzerland. We are already now nearly 10 people, mostly PhD and master student and high level engineers. And we are already selling and delivering laser worldwide to our customer. The core team is composed mainly from me, Florian, acting as CEO with a PhD in physics and lasers, and my colleague Benjamin, uh, acting as CTO, which also had a PhD in laser physics and a lot of experience in industry. As a company, we have our own facility. We are completely independent and based near the Zurich airport. Um, and have also our own clean room facility enabling us to uh, go from the design to the assembly of our laser in our own facilities. What is a laser clock? You think really often that lasers as some things to cut or drill. In our case, you have to see it as an ultra precise metronome, as a tic tac giving you exactly the right timing. You can see in the time domain, that will of course enable to make ultra precise clock. For example, having precision of one second compared to the age of the earth. But when you have extremely precise clock in the time domain, you can also use that, for example, in the optical domain or distance measurements field. For example, measuring distance of one microns uh, compared to the distance of the moon of the earth. So if I go a bit more in the application of our system to go really briefly through it, one of our key applications is frequency comb. Uh, as you can see here on this uh, picture, you can see the nice spectrums of a laser around 1550. And of course, within these spectrums, you have many lines, optical lines. And if you know that they are precisely defined, you can use that for making many metrology and precision applications. One application related to space, that we are working with a German company, Space Takes, in link to the European project, Clement project, is to calibrate a uh, full satellite optical system, as you can see here, with our laser in order to be able to kind of make um, greenhouse gases and water vapor measurements directly from the space and measure the different um, uh, density of these gases into the atmosphere. Another application that we are using with our laser source is microwave photonic. Microwave photonics is a really generic world and word and correspond to generate radio frequency signal using a photonic source. In our case, it can be done extremely easily. You can see the laser here. You can send it onto an optical to RF converter, which is a photodiode in our case, or you can also send it through long fibers of a few hundred meters and do the optical to RF conversions further away. By just doing that, you can directly from a one gigahertz laser, in our case, generate a RF signal with many tones, and for example, select one of these RF signal, which has really good uh, noise property, thanks to the property of the optical source. But I will come back to that later. So as company, as I said, we are laser manufacturers, and we started now three years ago by making uh, the Mania 15, which is this platform, which is the first turnkey femtosecond laser at 15 feet of its kind. And you can see the laser here. It's a shoe box size. It can be made smaller, but it has already a platform allowing us to make lasers at different rep rate from 200 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz fundamental rep rate with clean soliton pulses around 1550 and with the lowest phase noise on the market or equivalent timing jitter. 
But more important than just the laser parameters, we have really worked on making a useful and usable product. Meaning this system is a fully hermetically sealed product. It's an all-in-one system, meaning that all the electronics is directly underneath here, and the system only uses less than five watts of total electrical power. And more important is a turnkey system that can be used within a couple of seconds, 10 seconds from cold start. In terms of where we position ourselves compared to the different other companies and solutions offered already in the market, we, as I said, we are really focusing on this middle range at 1550 of 200 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz and up to 10 gigahertz in the futures. You have many solutions that are already covering the range of low rep rate and high energy, mostly uh, fiber solutions, and you have other solutions which are kind of not as mature at the moment using active solutions or ring uh, going to up to 10 and 100 gigahertz. For us, we are really focusing in this kind of uh, demanding and challenging range thanks to the kind of new laser design and innovative assembly technique that we have developed. So let me go a bit into technical details about the laser and product that we developed. Uh, this is the typical example of a performance on the laser side from our uh, 1550 at 1 gigahertz. You can see that you have clean soliton pulses in the optical domain, here the spectrum in the log scale or in the linear scale, and also really clean um, pulses in the type domain with sub-200 uh, sub femtoseconds. What's more important, and I want to kind of emphasize this curve here, which is the power slope of pump currents to output powers, is that we have brought a lot of effort in the laser design to understand all different parameters, but also in the laser assembly technique that we have invented in order to ensure that this laser can be operated on an extremely wide range. Why it's important? It's important in order to ensure that these lasers are not sensitive to a different perturbation for temperature vibration and allow them to work exactly extremely well in many conditions for the targeted application. And really the technical advantage of this laser is, as I said, the phase noise or timing jitter. And if you compare here, uh, this phase noise plot compared to very good course, you can see that the phase noise of our laser at high offset frequency meaning when you want to sample really fast, is much better, allowing us to provide a um, clock source which can uh, improve the speed and precision of many electronic systems. But more than just a prototype uh, and a laser in the breadboard, we really developed a product. And that was, for example, an example and test that we did on our first versions, which uh, was a vibration uh, test down up to 6.6G, um, equivalent to having a laser launch into Ariane 5 rocket, showing the robustness of our system and the assembly technique that we developed. We have also made many tests on temperatures and vacuum to show the space compatibility of our system. But more important, we also did recently irradiation test to show that with a low dose and high dose of proton to kind of simulate a Leo and Geo positioning of our system, uh, the critical components in our laser are compatible and were not degraded by such a doses. Meaning that with our know-how in the design and the assembly technique and the technique we are using, we have the possibility to create a space compatible uh, laser source for microwave generations. I just want to finish with a small video. I think you don't have a sound, but you can imagine it. It's a simple video showing the reliability and easiness that we want to bring. I hope um, that uh, you appreciate the presentation. Um, I'm happy to hear about questions. We will stay a bit open a few more minutes. Uh, in general, I want to say that we have so many uh, demo units that can be easily shipped. Thanks to the robustness of our laser, they can be easily shipped and directly installed in five minutes in our lab for testing or validating concept. Thank you very much for your attention.